The most important thing to me in this whole thing is that my mom likes him and I don't need to hide anything anymore. Let's discuss this character called Kanye. Because I think that she needs intervention. Do we need to pray for this character called Kanye? Do we need to pray for the main characters on this drama series? In fact, do we need to pray for all the characters on this drama series? Let's talk Just Us Girls Season 3. Hi guys, welcome. You're very welcome to my YouTube channel. You're welcome to Lucy's Quick One. This time we are talking the drama series Just Us Girls. Now, people have been complaining about this drama series. People have carried out petitions and everything about this drama series. They were like, why are you stalling? You've given us season one. You've given us season two. Where is season three? And they've been complaining and shouting about this. Apparently now, we have season three and we can understand what is going to happen to the major characters from season one and season two. Now, before I go into talking about the very first episode in season three, I need to ask you, if you are yet to, to see this drama series called Just Us Girls, you should see it because there is a lot of relatable content, especially for people in relationships, in marriages, so that you understand certain things and probably share your own opinion. On my channel, I have talked about season one and two. I have analyzed the characters. I have analyzed, you know, their stories and helped you to understand who these people are. Now in season three, we are introduced to a new development. Apparently, this is one year after. And we start this episode with the introduction ceremony of Kanye and Tomiwa and I was like wow so Kanye's mother at the end of the day won. Now I will be talking about the major characters from the person I think from first episode has the least problem to the one that has the most problem that has in fact bigger fish to fry. Starting with the first person I would say GT. <laughs> I was not only impressed I stood up to clap for GT when I saw what she did. From season one and two we already understand that GT is the breadwinner of her family and the reason i would say that her character is very relatable is because a lot of young people are the breadwinner of their family a lot of people are working not just for themselves but you know they are also giving out money to their mom to their siblings they cater for the entire family gt is one of those kind of people but unfortunately for gt she's still collecting or receiving pressure from her family to get married and also to like to meet up to their needs but in season two we see a part where gta is visited by her mom and her sister and her brother and then they insult her you know they do not respect her and gta had to work her family out because she was just tired they're always asking and asking and asking and sometimes they even squander the money that she gives them and she's really working hard so i was very impressed to see that you know gta get, gets a call while she was at her shop and it was her sister Eloha and her mom on the line and she caught the call on them. Apparently we now know that you know GTA had blocked her family members on all platforms like they can't reach her anywhere. I was like yes finally because these guys have been stressing her and the mom is like oh how are we going to get money now how? and I'm like you guys don't even give this girl a breathing space. And it's how you are so entitled to somebody else's money. She's breaking her back. You're not appreciative and you're still entitled and you're still disrespecting her. Like, how do you have that mind to do that? And it's just that a lot of people go through that. Like, a lot of people give out money to their family members and they're not really appreciated. Some people don't even want to be appreciated. The fact that their family members are being catered for, the fact that their mother or their father have something to eat, have something to wear, gives them joy already so that's their own contentment but i think that you should not take it so far to the extent that you make that person feel worthless and you make that pe and you feel entitled to that person's money to the extent that that person does not have a life apart from that you know gta is already facing pressure from her mom to get married oh you are old and all of that to the extent that in season two gta had to propose to her boyfriend sam because she couldn't take it anymore so i really loved how GT shut her family up and just focused on her life. It could change later, but I just loved that fact. Now let's move on to the next character, Ife. You see why sometimes it's good if you have a family where you can express yourself and tell them what you're going through, even if it has to be with relationship, you need to thank the Lord. Now Ife is in school and we see that, okay, Ife is moving on right now. It looks like she was moving on. Apparently we are introduced to another character called Moni. And then we can see that Ife is dating this guy called K. Now in season two, you know that K has been trying to be friends with Ife for the longest. You know, K has been trying to get on Ife's good side, always going to her house and everything. So apparently in season three, Ife is dating K. 
and Mona is uh, Mona is asking if it, ah, what's happening with you guys she was like I just wanted to use him to pass them I was like ah and because she was so rude very hostile towards K now moving on to Kanye's introduction ceremony we see that Ife is calling Kay to come to the wedding because she saw that Jamin was there. Remember that Jamin from season remember that in season two, Ife had a crush on Jamin and Jamin had to reject her because he's older, way older than Ife is. So Ife calls her boyfriend Kay to the wet to the introduction ceremony. And then she, when Kay comes, she's trying to use Kay to make Jamin jealous. The moment Kay realizes this, he was angry. He was like, why would you, as in it's one year after, why are you still stuck up on this guy? I'm here for you. I love you and all of that. She was like, no, it's not really like that. So apparently Kay was angry. And at that point, it's not like I'm trying to make a kiss for anybody, guys. Oh. But the thing is, most of the times, you see people that are walking around and they exhibit certain traits. It's because of the experiences that they have. Now, someone like Kay has loved this girl called Ife. He has been genuine towards her. If at the end of the day he gets hurt and realizes that Ife was only using him to get over Jamin, she doesn't love him, she doesn't like him at all, he's probably going to go into another relationship and then be that kind of guy that will use girls. He's probably going to a relationship and he will not trust the girl that he's with. And that's why sometimes it's always good to talk to people about these things, one, the right people. And secondly, that's why in life, eh, we just need God for everything. Because sometimes people will treat you or do things to you that will almost turn you into a bad person. And people will just turn, some people can't even handle it, they become a bad person. It's because of the experiences that they've had. But I really pray that K doesn't turn to that kind of guy that will be hurting girls or be serving different girls breakfast because of his own past. Also, when it comes to affair. I really wish that she had, she has people around her, but I really wish that she could open up to talk about the situation that she has with Jermaine and how she's feeling. I understand that, you know, Jermaine is a family friend, but the way she's going about it is just totally wrong. You could argue that she is young, and that's why it's always good for young people to be surrounded by older people that they trust and they can talk to. Now we move on to this next character called Ame. <laughs> I was so sad to see this. From season one, if you remember, in case you do not know, in case you have not watched it, Ame is this kind of girl that we like to call Spirit Coco in Nigeria. Ame is very religious. From season one and two, you will know that Ame has a history. Because at some point, I think Jame would reveal that, you know, she lost a sibling or a twin. Ame, Ame has a history that we do not really know about. Ame has a past that she's still trying to get over and from season one and two Jamin had been telling her ah are you sure you don't want to go for therapy are you sure you don't want to talk to somebody about it and she's always shutting her brother down so she's already dealing with something before we now introduce this character called brother felix who she was dating in season two and then we realize that this guy is a narcissist brother felix beats her he's toxic he uses her to wash his clothes and everything and then at some point in season two while he was beating her her brother Jamin comes in and rescues her and apparently the relationship ends but in season three we can see that Ame is now struggling with the fact that she was in that kind of relationship she's in the classroom and she's having this episode where she's going back to that scene where brother felix was beating her and then one of the students in the class tries to tap, tap her and she screams at the students because of that she was summoned to the principal's office apparently Ame has been having different episodes when it comes to this whole situation so the principal is like, you know what, we've had it up to here. We're going to take a drastic action against you. Is that we suspend you or you get fired? And then Ame goes back to her classroom. She drinks something and I was like, ah, what is this girl drinking? In my mind, I'm like, is she taking alcohol? And I was like, nah, ah, she's, she's a Christian now. She's a very spiritual spirit kind of person. She can't do that. Only for us to see Ame sneak out during Kanye's introduction to take a glass of red wine. And I was like, oh my God, this girl has resorted to alcohol. But you know the thing about alcohol, I usually tell people that you can take alcohol though, but you see, if you ever resort to alcohol as a coping mechanism to your problem, it will solve nothing. You can get high, but you will come back to that problem. Your eye will clear. Like you will have a clear head later on and you come back to that problem. So alcohol is never the solution to you facing your challenges or your issues. So now Ame is taking alcohol. And looking at Ame, you know that a lot of things are wrong with her. Have you seen her wig? The wig alone is a problem. I'm wondering how Jite, who sells wigs, cannot realize that Ame is going through something. Like, and probe her to talk until she talks. But I really hope that this does not turn Ame into something else because she's already dealing with something before. And now she's facing more. Now, talking about the icing on the cake. 
Kanye at this point guys is like people want to go into the filming set if possible into the video to pull Kanye out because she needs a lot of rescuing now like I said at the beginning of the episode you know we are introduced to Tomiwa getting introduced to Kanye's family and vice versa but before that time we see Kanye outside the supermarket and then somebody stops like oh you have not been coming to church and then she like tries to like avoid the conversation enters the car to talk to Tomiwa and then she goes to see her mom who had apparently won in the situation and her mom is like you know what I have invited the live band the clothes you are wearing I don't like it Kanye was like you know mom see anything that you want to do just do it now we are at the introduction ceremony and then we are seeing Tomiwa and Kanye seated and everything and her mom is so happy and all of that and then Tomiwa is like oh finally I finally got you Dr. Kanye now we move on to where GT was having a conversation with Kanye she's like you know what to be honest as your friend I won't lie to you I would have rather you got married to Mona and not Tomiwa Tomiwa is arrogant when she said arrogant I was like I haven't really seen the guy being arrogant but well GT understands better Tomiwa is arrogant like Mona would have been a better option then Kanye now said it's not about her at this point the fact that she doesn't have to hide a man from her mom the fact that her mother is happy is the reason she's getting married to Tomiwa and in as much as at that point I was angry guys me to say I was I was like are you kidding me I realized that that is the reality of a lot of people so I had to calm down at some point we are also shown Muna and we see that Muna is back into the country Muna went out of the country to study and you know gets this international chef training going on and he's back and then Ella is still in the picture and all of that trying to position herself and all of that we keep that aside now we're back into the introduction ceremony Kanye is looking for Tomiwa up and down she's going she's looking for him and then she catches her husband to be flirting with another woman and the other woman flirting with him she's angry and she walks out we move on to another day Tomiwa comes to look for Kanye. GJ goes to open the door. And that's the point. And I realized that this guy is actually arrogant. Because GJ greets him and then he snubs GJ. I was like, okay. He greets him fair. Kanye comes down, starts to have a conversation. Tomiwa was like, oh, I've been calling you. You have not been picking your call. Kanye is like, yes, I've been busy. He says, oh, is it because of what happened? Are you jealous? Hey, hey, guys. That was not the only thing that bust my head. He goes on to say that you know i'm a fine boy so a lot of people want to have so much from me a lot of people cannot just get enough of me i was like ah <laughs> is this plain that was not the only thing he goes on to tell kanye that we're getting married soon you soon become my wife so you need to develop thick skin and i'm like kanye are you not listening to what this guy is saying can't you hear what this guy is telling you you are there arguing so Kanye was like no it's not about what people do to you it's about what you do when people do things to you I was like Kanye you're still speaking English when this guy who is wearing red is actually a walking red flag is it just me or has Kanye moved from an answered prayer to a prayer point because this is very serious she's probably going to get married to a walking red flag we move on to another scene where we are seeing that after that introduction ceremony, Tomiwa goes on to have an affair with that same lady. And the lady was still telling him, oh, stay with me, you know, for the whole day, let's hang out, let's be together. And he's like, I paid you, so what else do you want? I was like, <laughs> Kanye is in trouble. Kanye is in big trouble. Now, like I said before, Muna is back into the country. Now, Muna is sleeping. Ella comes, you know, she's trying to position herself. She's trying to help Muna realize that she's still available for him. And then she comes to show Mona that you know see you the babe that you probably still have feelings for the babe that you're still probably hoping to get married to is already married and then Mona goes to go and lie down I can't be so angry with Kanye but I probably will still be angry with her because people some people are in this kind of relationship some people are in this kind of situation whereby they can't just have that mind to stand up to their family members they can't just have that mind to stand up to their parents because of one thing or the other and that's why Kanye is still where she is. And I really do pity her if she still goes ahead with it. Right now for me, I'm actually hoping for a miracle. For Kanye to realize that she can actually break off this introduction. You know, I usually hear this thing. You are single until you are married. Until you sign and say that, oh, I am now a Mrs. This person. You are still single. So for me, right now, Kanye can still redeem herself and leave that situation. However, in case you are married or you are single, I would like... To know what you think about the first episode in the comment section can we can you relate to any of the characters in this 
series called Just Us Girls. Have you experienced such? Do you have somebody who has experienced it? I'd like to know in the comment section. I got you with more when episode 2 drops right here on this channel. Till then, remember to enjoy every moment. Mwah.